What's up guys, welcome back to Passive Base where we talk crypto and crypto only. Welcome back to all the subscribers. And of course, welcome back to all the people that have not subscribed to the channel just yet, but you secretly watch our videos. If you were one of those people, please consider hitting the subscriber button down below. I absolutely get super motivated to make more videos when I see that subscriber count go up. And by subscribing, we're gonna grow the channel together and it absolutely benefits us. So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Without any further ado, guys, this is not financial advice, so please just do your own research before investing in any of the stuff we talk about in this video. Of course, this is just me passing the information on to you of what I'm doing myself. You're not uh, supposed to just go ahead and follow exactly what I'm doing without doing your own research. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about one project that uh, it's a little bit of a controversial project right now because they were hacked and the entire liquidity pool that was in Uniswap is absolutely gone. So anybody that had owned any of these tokens, um, they're worth zero right now, okay? But that's where opportunity comes in. Usually I like to buy things when um, there's literally blood on the streets, everything is red, that's when I wanna buy it. I don't wanna buy anything when everything is green and gravy and everybody's happy. That's usually the worst time to buy stuff. So I am going to be purchasing uh, Axion. Axion will be released tomorrow. And if you're not familiar with what happened to Axion, uh, so Axion has been in development for uh, since June, July, uh, beginning of the year. And uh, they finally were ready to release their product, which was last week. They audited the contract. I think there was two or three audits done and everything was perfect. They paid a third party company to actually deploy that audited contract onto the mainnet. Uh, and when that happened, that third party, which was a person, um, actually added a snippet of code after the auditing company handed the contract back to Axion. Axion handed it to that third party and said, hey, go ahead and deploy this contract. And that third party actually added a snippet of code that let that person actually have a backdoor to mint more tokens. So that's what happened. They deployed it on mainnet and that person actually minted more tokens when everything went live. By minting more tokens, he was able to actually go on the Uniswap and uh, sell the entire supply. I think it was 79 billion tokens. Uh, by selling that supply, he liquidated the entire uh, liquidity that was in Axion at the time. So everybody was unable to sell any tokens because there was no liquidity left. So those tokens essentially were worth $0. Uh, this was a big hit on Axion and um, any other crypto project, most of the crypto project, I'd say 99% of crypto projects that that happens to, they do not try to make a comeback because their reputation is basically gone. But what Axion did here, they um, went ahead and said, hey, we're not going to let this stop us. We're going to go ahead and relaunch. We're going to re-raise our uh, liquidity pool and, and, and deploy it on Uniswap. And um, hopefully this time everything will be good so that's what they're doing and that's what they're going to be doing tomorrow so tomorrow they're going to be releasing their mainnet and uh, you're going to be able to purchase axion contracts uh, sorry axion tokens and stake it in their platform um and they will be deploying them themselves not a third party will be deploying this uh this contract so it should be all good they're not going to be making that mistake again axion is um right now uh, they were supposed to launch today, but they did not. And I'm going to show you guys here really quick why they didn't launch today. So if we go to their website right over here, this is the Axion's website and they were supposed to launch today. And as you can see, the launch was delayed, basically not due to their fault. Um, this is uh, basically Ethereum network was actually um, it actually had some downtime. Uh, I've uh, I've seen that before, but it doesn't happen frequently. And if you do click on the link here, you could read a little bit more about it. Uh, so they were actually uh, down for a little bit. So the network was not functioning correctly and they decided, hey, we're not going to release this right now. Tomorrow, hopefully everything is more stable and the gas rates will be a little bit better for them to go ahead and just release their mainnet contract. If you're not familiar with Axion and what the platform does, please go ahead and head over to axion.network. There you can read a little bit more about it, but um, essentially this would be another video after the release. This is so close to the release that I just wanted to put out this video so people were aware that this is coming out tomorrow. 
A few things to keep in mind that it's uh, even though it's coming out tomorrow, there were buyers before the um, before this that owned Hex 2T and that was converted to Axion. Um, however, because of the hack, um, the coin will be launched tomorrow at a lower rate than where it was hacked at. So uh, essentially, it's a discounted uh, rate uh, for everybody that wants to get in it. Um, but again, there were people that even purchased it for less um, than what's going to be released tomorrow for. So keep that in mind. Um, but I do like this and I'm going to be uh, staking my Axion tomorrow and hopefully everything will go well. And uh, yeah, please go ahead and head over to their website. Do your own research here and uh, let us know what you think in the comment box down below. That's the video, guys. I'll see you guys next time.